you guys welcome back to my channel it is raining so hard outside and y'all probably can hear it and i'm sorry as you can tell by the title of this video this will be all of my eyeshadow palettes i don't really have that many i lose them i break them they just grow legs and run away from me i don't know where all my makeup palettes are but most of these i am obsessed with or i used to be obsessed with i have some that really need to be just retired and i'm gonna tell y'all why i like them if you should purchase them please remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit that little notification bell if you want to be notified when i upload a video that's pretty much rarely but i'm trying trying let's jump into the video okay so i'm gonna probably be going in no certain order i'm just gonna start with really what's in front of me excuse oh my gosh a piece of glass just fell out of this palette did you hear that this palette is so dirty this i need to get a new one so bad this was my jam for so long this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It is disgusting because I haven't used it in so long and I have a hoarding issue and I can't ever throw things away. But this is the glass. It is broken. Somebody stepped on it and I was so devastated because they had like stepped on it right when I got it and I was obsessed with this palette for so long. So you can tell which shades I loved the most. And this palette still kind of smells like chocolate, kind of doesn't, it's old. But this is a really good just everyday palette. Like if you're somebody that's very minimal and doesn't do extravagant looks, just uses pretty much the basic browns, you need shimmers. This palette is so awesome. I'm going to check the price of this. This palette is $50. I'll try to have all the prices on the screen somewhere. This palette is awesome. I highly recommend. Did you order the food? Yeah, it should be here in probably about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, love you. Love you. The next palette I'll be talking about is the Modern Renaissance palette. This is what the inside looks like. I'm probably going to say I love all these palettes. Literally. So I'm just gonna stop saying that. This palette was all the rage when it came out and I was kind of late on the bandwagon. I didn't get it until probably about a year it was out. Maybe a year, maybe a less than a year. I didn't get it when everybody like rushed to get it and it was all, always sold out. I got it pretty much after the rush of it. But this is still a great palette. It has a lot of nice warm, dark tones to it if i ever need like a dramatic look i go to this one you can create a lot of good looks with this palette i think i've done a look with this palette on my channel before i think that sunset smoky eye i did it with this palette it's, it's a great palette my next palette i got them together this is the morphe 25 a and b palette this is the 25 a and this is the 25 b i'm gonna start with talking about the 25A. My palettes are gross, I'm sorry. This is the 25A palette. These came as like a twin set. I love these palettes. Like these are my go-to palettes. Like when I'm throwing on an eye look and I need to run out the door, these are my go-to palettes. If you are traveling and you wanna pack light, these palettes are great. This is the um, warm tones of the two sister palettes. This palette has more the warm, dark, earthy tones rather than this one. This is the 25B palette. has the more cool tones, purpley tones. You can pretty much tell by each palette what your vibe is. If you like the dark, warm tones, if you like the cool tone, purple tones, then... These are great and very inexpensive. The next palette is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I got this palette 
from the first launch like the day she dropped it this one is quite dirty as well another really good palette to bring when you're traveling i know people complained that they didn't have a mirror in it um she's coming out with the vault collection in a couple of days which i am going to race to get that has mirrors in it now this is another good just all around palette you can check out her videos talking about this palette and she released it a year ago i'm pretty sure good palette i'm pretty sure it's still on sale too the next palette is the naked two palette this was my first eyeshadow palette literally ever and As you can tell, it's very old. Um, I'm not a cool tone kind of gal, so I don't really know what intrigued me to this palette because I remember when I was first started getting into makeup, the Naked palettes were all the rage, like that's what was popular. And um, I didn't really like the Naked One palette too much, which is, looking back now is strange. You can obviously tell I never really use this palette, only this light shade, and I use T's a lot. That's not flattering. I don't know. Um, I think there's better palettes out there. They might have reformulated. They might be better now. I haven't used this in so long, literally years, and I'll, I don't know why I still have this. This next palette is the second palette I've ever owned. Um, this is the Kat Von D Nurse Stellar palette. I got this for, for Christmas one year and I literally never used it. I maybe have used it a couple times when I first gotten it years ago, but never touched it. Because like I said, I am not a cool tone woman, but apparently my eyes were drawn to cool tones when I first started makeup. I am a hoarder. If you have not noticed yet, the next palette is the 35F palette by Morphe, obviously. This is what it looks like. This palette is just so beautiful for the fall. I think that's what the F stands for, honestly. The reason I got this is because of all the shimmer choices it has. Like, all of these are shimmer and just the bottom row are the mattes. Another really good inexpensive buy good goodbye last but not least is my new baby this is um many anyways palette from his brand called life's a drag i got this literally the day it launched i set an alarm and i was waiting on the website i got this palette more for sentimental reasons I love Manny Amy anyway. It takes a lot for me to laugh at somebody online or like funny movies. I'm not the type that'll just crack up laughing at every little thing. Like it takes something really funny for me to actually laugh and he cracks me up. I love what he does and this that's the name of his uh, makeup brand, Lunar Beauty. And it's just, I love this palette. And it, the, it's pigmented and it blends like a dream. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for my eyeshadow collection. Like I said, it's not too crazy extensive. I'm a creature of habit. I don't like trying new things. I stick to what I know and what I like and I don't really venture out too much. But I'm thinking about just splurging on some eyeshadow palettes, especially the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection that's coming out thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already like this video if you want i'm not going to force you to do anything i'll see you next time